Okay, guys, I wanted to just provide one more video on this um, to kind of s throw everything together uh, so that we can see kind of the final product and, and where where we should kind of end up with, uh, with this analysis. And so what, uh, what I've done here is um, I just copied and pasted whoa, uh, these, these charge offs a number of times so that we can look at the, the cases under each Federal Reserve scenario and then one without anything. Um, I also thought of a better way to, um, to get these predicted effects instead of multiplying it one by one. Uh, what you can just do is throw the intercept in here. That's the intercept from our regression output. And then these are the effects. So take these effects that we calculated um, for each for each variable. And if we just take one of them, if we just start with nominal GDP, all right, um, we take the effect. Well, here, take the effect. We want to fix the the row so that we're not moving away from row two because this is where all the effects are. But as we move down, we can make this match up. Uh, so don't fix the H so that we can move across these columns. But but do fix the row, all right? So that we're not moving up and down. We're only we but we are moving across. So multiply that by the effect here, or the, the scenario here. Well, let's see. What did I do? Oh, I lost the number. All right, hold on. This takes the two. Okay, times H117. There, okay. Enter, all right. And then if we do that, we can just drag it across all at once. Uh, and then all the way down. And so keep the intercept the same, that never changes. And then we drag it down, and then I've, I've taken the data from the severely adverse, adverse, and baseline domestic scenarios. Those are all right here uh, with the corresponding variables, nominal GDP and so on and so forth. Um, and then all we have to do is just sum these across. So this was that long formula I made in the last video. Um, much easier now, just sum these and we get the same thing, right? So we're going to take that, we're going to do this instead, right? And you see those don't change. And then we're going to do the same thing for adverse, which is this one. Uh -huh. Oh, I need the sum function in there. Sum that one. Bring it across. And sum the baseline. All right, and then bring that down. OK, so uh, so there we have it. Um, these are the really adverse, adverse, and baseline scenarios. Uh, and then I also want to throw this historical one. Actually, let me put that one first. Um, and then we can actually just take uh, all of these. Actually, maybe it's better to name um, to name these here with those names. And then if we take all this data all the way down. I think that if we make a line a line graph, we'll get a really nice one here. Yeah, and so let's actually let's actually make this its own its own uh, tab. So a new sheet. We'll call this macro stress scenarios or something. Okay, new sheet all by itself. Um, and then what we have here is the the charge offs, all right? The historical charge offs. We need to add our dates. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops. Access label range. 
we want years and uh, and then that should give us what we want there okay that's too many so let's format the axis and get these labels only every four units so that we get one per year oh wait you can see I accidentally grabbed the the category here we need to get rid of that One less. Okay. Okay. Um, so there we go. Let's also maybe change the rotation of these. That looks a little cleaner. Um, and then we'll change these around a bit too. So start off with a, a baseline here. This is uh, this is the historical charge offs. Um, and the baseline. So let's see. That one, we need to reorder. We need to reorder these. So I think that maybe we want charge offs on the bottom. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if we put charge offs on the bottom there, then we make that one black. We can make the baseline maybe, I don't know, blue. The adverse, some kind of yellow, and then the, the severely adverse, red. And maybe, well, you can also adjust the order of these as well. Maybe let's put severely adverse. Just change that. Yeah, and so then we can see what would the charge-offs be for the bank if these Federal Reserve scenarios were to uh, actually happen. You can format it up nicely, add some tables, add some, or add some charts, some labels, some uh, change around the axis. But in the end, this is something that we're looking for, uh, a graph looking like this. Um, and maybe change around the label perhaps a little bit, but this is what we're after here. So now I'll leave it at this um, and set you guys off on, on the rest of it. So let me know if you have questions and, um, and talk to you soon.